And this one, they're getting bigger. They're getting bigger for us. We don't have to do any of this because they're just getting bigger. So we're here and we're fishing around the Bass Island region. Um, we just happen to have a little stretch of water here that's cleaner. So we're gonna try to soak our lures in there and see if our crawlers can get bit again. Five minutes in, and I think we struck the right flavor. Magnet bottom of that bag. It goes right on the bottom. We have an angry fish aboard, hopefully, in about 10 seconds. I'm not gonna make Brian get too wet today, but I got a feeling. is a little dirty right here. There's a nice little wall out here. If you notice, there's an awful lot of little warts and different growths and things on them, and people are a lot of times misinterpret that. What that is is actually like a herpes type virus, not like what humans have. Uh, but that virus is caused, these are probably net marks or some type of scar that you sustain during spawning. Um, and basically they just get a virus because of picking up different things just like humans do. So um, we'll throw him in the box because I think this one's about done. So. Fishing at bottom bounds here, the water temperature, and all these post spawn fish, they're right near the bottom. So we put a big chunk of lead out there and just dance this thing just a touch above the bottom. And the last couple of days has been pretty good. So hopefully it'll work out today for us. We got one on here. We're eating a sandwich, which is a great way to catch walleyes. Chewing a sandwich, get the peanut butter sandwich out and you'll likely catch one. And we got this little bugger right down here. As you can see, when they take it, they take it. We're just making some changes. We caught a few fish, and a lot of our fish the last couple days have been on the bottom. And really good fishermen, it's, we aren't doing anything different than anybody else, but it's all about adapting to the change. And right now, we're using some inline sinkers. Uh, we started off fishing bottom with some heavier sinkers and some bottom bouncers, and that just didn't flat out work today. So what we're gonna do is just put out some stuff. We switch blades up a little bit. They've been liking this pearl. So give them what they want. And we're going to fish a little bit higher. We've been catching our fish about 10, 15 feet down, which is about halfway. We're almost 30, 32 feet of water. And we're fishing a little bit cleaner water. So that's why we're using these planer boards. And we're going to get as many as we can out to the side. So we're actually going to run four out of our six lines on one side because the current's pushing this way and it's not causing our spinner blades to swing the same way on the, on the left side of the boat as they are the right. So me and Brian here are going to switch a rod up. We're going to keep them up. We're going to abandon that deep thing because it just, for whatever reason, isn't working. This fish moved up in the wind here. There may be some bait fish high. Don't really know. Don't really care because I know what's working. So we're going to get out of here and make some changes. Brian, clean the board. Here we go. We just got a really good hit here. As you can see, that board changed as it starts to go back farther. It's the weight of the fish. Oh boy, it's a big one, Brian. We really got a Lake Erie giant. Go. Woo! We asked for a big one and we got it. You aren't gonna believe what it hit either. This one hit one of our uh, our hot lures this year. It's called Pink Panties is the color by Silver Streak. It's a little number five Colorado blade. People want to know how you know a fish are on with inline planer boards when they take them under like bobbers. I think there's one on. It's a little windy out here. But the walleyes don't seem to mind. Go. On pink panties again. My panties are on fire. I couldn't make this up. Pink panties has doubled up on us here. God, he gobbled it too. And it goes right That's a big one. Oh, 
all the nasty weather, we decide to come in a little bit early. But really, the best time to go fishing is any time you can go. So hindsight, we probably shouldn't have went, but I'll tell you what, we had an awful lot of fun.